I'm going to talk to you about the Romans Road to Salvation. There's a lot of false prophets out there that are trying to say that the Romans Road system will send you to hell. Uh, let me tell you something. The Romans Road is Scripture. It will not send you to hell. It will send you to heaven if you understand it. Romans chapter 3, verse 10. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. First one. This is just a basic one here, the basic outline. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You can't make it into heaven on your own works. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yeah. Verse 12, Romans chapter 5, verse 12. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Are you a sinner? Romans chapter 6, verse 23, the next one. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You're a sinner. The Bible condemns you as a sinner. Do you believe that you're a sinner? Well, I guess technically yeah, we're all No, 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 no. You personally, do you have personal conviction for your sin? Are you living the kind of a life that you want to weigh out? You are saying, this is, a, this is miserable. I feel like just blowing my brains out. What is, what is the point of life? You're a sinner. And sinning, that admitting to, to you being a sinner, is what leads you to salvation. Okay? We see it there in, in verse 23, Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. You know that, don't you? Your alcohol, it's going to lead to your untimely, your, your premature death. I'll say it that way. Um, your pornography addiction, is it making you better? Of course not. Your life of smoking, you're going to get emphysema, probably lung cancer. You're going to die. Prescription drug use, you see? Stealing, lying, cheating. You live like an animal. That's what lost, you know, most lost people do. The wages of sin is death. You being a sinner, the things that you're earning, you're going to die early. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. How do I get the gift? Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 11. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Verse 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Are you a sinner? Are you tired of those sins that you've committed? Do you understand that this book talks about Jesus Christ dying on the cross and that His death is all that's necessary? His death, burial, and resurrection, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1-4, through 4, the blood that He shed on the cross can wash all of your sins away. Do you understand that? Do you understand the gift of God here? The gift of God is you're a sinner. You deserve death. You are literally destroying your own self. It isn't about some mean, horrible, angry God up there that's saying, I'm going to kill you. That's not the whole issue here, all right? The issue is, friend, your lifestyle is killing you. What do you have to look forward to? You say, well, I'm just going to, you know, uh, eat and sleep and drink and be merry and, and everything else for tomorrow we die. <laughs> is that it? Animals do that. Aren't you supposed to be higher than an animal? Yeah. What's the purpose of you being here on this earth? The purpose of you being here on this earth is to get to know your Creator. This is how you do it. Right here. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. How do you receive the, the gift? Believe the book, the record that God gave of His Son, and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that He died on the cross to pay for your sins, and you call upon the name of the Lord, just whatever you want to pray. God, please save me. God looks on the heart, you see. The heart is there. What do we read there? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You see? 
when you're believing, it's a heartfelt conviction. And then you call upon the name of the Lord. God, I, I do believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. Please save me. I don't want to go to hell when I die. I want out of this life of sin. I know that the wages I am earning for my sinful life, it's going to lead to my death. I want out. You see? That's true biblical salvation. Now, can people preach this thing wrong? Sure, absolutely. They can preach and they can say, we're all sinners and we just, you know, just let's pray this prayer down here and we're fine, you know. And they, they leave out the person getting under conviction of their own personal sins. Yes, and it does lead to false gospel. I'll agree with that. But you get up here and you show somebody that they're a sinner and show them that there's a wage that they're earning for that sin, but the gift of God is, is, is eternal life, excuse me. See? And that's how you get it right there. This isn't going to lead anybody to hell. So watch out for anybody that's coming out and saying that the Romans' road is a Romans' road to damnation. Uh, they're a liar, false prophet. 